We're here at the American Craft Spirits Association convention for distillers, and it's a trade show as well. And we're talking with Matt Haney of Hillbilly Stills. We're in front of one of his Hillbilly Stills, otherwise known as HBS, and he's actually a fellow Kentuckian from Barlow, Kentucky, right? Yeah. So what is, uh, what are these stills? Who is Hillbilly Stills? So Hillbilly Stills was founded by myself and my father in 2011, and uh, we started out building uh, hobby stills for the average consumer. And what we found is we created a product that was so good uh, that we ended up having them get into a lot of startup craft distilleries. Uh, Kings County, if you're familiar with yeah, them, they were, they, we were, all of their original steels came from us. Uh, and we got, our, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and so we got to looking at it and we came and actually did ADI show and uh, had a huge interest in our product. So we really started re-aiming towards the craft industry. As we did that, we wanted to kind of differentiate between the commercial size steels and quality steels over our hobby steels. And uh, so uh, HBS Copper was born in late 2014, and this is really the first show that we've unveiled it at. This is great. So we're in front of a 50? This is a 50 gallon all steel. copper steel. Okay. This was all built by hand in Barlow. Um, and uh, everything's TIG welded now in these. This is still, this is actually our top end hobby steel. But it functions, again, you know, like, like I previously mentioned, it functions so well. Uh, there's a lot of craft distilleries that run them. And it's a really good size fit for this size color. Excellent. And uh, so tell me about consumers and distilling. What are the what are the laws? How does that? Well, the laws are, are pretty, pretty cut and dry federally. Uh, that it is illegal to run your steel uh, to make anything other than ethanol fuel, and you have to register as an ethanol fuel distiller. Now, uh, I have worked with Senator Paul's office, and uh, they were very helpful. We went through four drafts and finally got a bill drafted that would federally legalize hobby distilling uh, within some regulations, you know, and it would line it up very closely with the beer and wine laws. Um, as of right now, we haven't been able to get a home or another uh, congressman to pick it up and sponsor. It's probably just a matter of time, but there's also, you know, there, there's some compromise that we need to reach. Now, Missouri, on the other hand, as, as a state, has legalized time and still in the only state in the union, and it lines up exactly identical to the beer and wine laws. But, you know, it's kind of like marijuana in Colorado. You're still illegal federally, but your state laws allow it. You wrote this bill with Senator Rand Paul, mm -hmm. and you're waiting. You're waiting for him to present the bill. No, he's so is, he's, he's this 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 Congress. He's not going to present the bill. Okay. Uh, you know, he's he's uh, uh, there's some there's some some hurdles that we need to cross, and right. there's some concerns that he has, and we're trying to address them. And uh, as long as we can, and I think we will be able to. I don't think it's so much of a question of if; it's when. Right. Uh, Probably not going to be 2015, but maybe in the next couple of years we can get it. You know, we can get it. And Mitch McConnell has uh, again same same deal. Mitch McConnell was very interested in it. Our uh, representative Ed Whitfield were all interested in it, but they all had some concerns, and I and I, and I think right. they were very reasonable concerns. And uh, it's just a matter of, of meeting them, and you know, and then your other congressmen from other states. You know, each state has its own concerns. Uh, once we can. Uh, meet those concerns and you can find compromises between everybody, then I think we That's awesome. Well, good luck yeah. to you with that. Thank you. And uh, keep on making some great stills. We'll be watching for uh, more great uh, news from you. We should say Hillbilly Stills complies and has a really great relationship with the TTB. Yes. Yeah, you so guys the, do everything. Yeah, we do great. everything in line with the TTB. Uh, they, they, uh, they've been to our facility to visit us. Uh, we asked them what they wanted us to do and they, they really liked everything we were doing. So. Um, you know, if you're going to buy one, you know, you need to look into that permit and uh, make sure you're doing everything within the law.